Did Joe Biden poop his pants in the Vatican? We're going to talk about that, and guess what? A little bit of real estate, too. A bird deal. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show, folks. I am James Wise. This is the MLS Search and Analysis Show. This is unlike any other real estate show you've ever watched, I presume. I mean, I don't watch all the real estate shows, but of all the real estate shows that I've watched, I think it gets a little boring, right? Like, truth be told, uh, you know, talking about cap rates and cash flow and fixed interest and variable interest rate it, it could be dry i feel i feel like it could be dry so we do try to spice things up a little bit okay we do try to spice things up here so our goal is to educate you as well as entertain you right a little bit of and what's it called edutainment we're trying to edu edutainment you we're trying to edutain you edutain you folks so if that's something you're looking for i hope you stick around and subscribe now on to more serious matters. Today I'm working with an international man of mystery, my guy Radu from France. Brother, you come all the way from France to the Cleveland, Ohio market because the prices, the returns, they make a lot of money, right? So what I have for you today, brother, it's a deal uh, that requires some repairs, but you told me you have a construction business in France, so you are not afraid to do a renovation project, which is good because this is definitely a renovation project, but... The return can be insane, brother. And as far as lenders go, even though you are international, we have lenders that will work with people outside of the U.S. like yourself. So when I send you this video privately, Radu, I'm also going to send you my list of lenders. So without further ado, let's get into all the details about this uh, reno deal, number one. And number two, let's get into the fact that I opened the show talking about Joe Biden pooping himself. There are two sides to wholesaling. Bodacious marketing to attract motivated sellers and data-driven analytics. Together, they're a match made in heaven. This is our wholesaling course. Let the link and buy the doors! Welcome back. Now we are going to get into the meat and potatoes of this deal, right? The, 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 the real fun stuff, right? The numbers, right? 903 West 11th Street, Lorraine, 44052, just hit the market, but they had to drop the price. So they must be getting ready to move this bad boy. New price, 30, 39999 used to be about forty five k. Only seven days on the market. $33.30 a square foot. Can you imagine that? There's people out there in California watching the show right now that just fucking pooped their pants. They just pulled a Joe Biden. Ah, ah, you get it? You get it? Because he pooped himself at the Vatican. At least that's what they're saying. I don't know. I saw it on Facebook. I have no idea if it's true or not. But I laughed. Anywho. So. Uh, 903 West 11th Street, Lorraine, Ohio, $33 a square foot for this bad boy. We got to burr this sucker out, okay? It don't look pretty right now. It does need some love, but it is priced to move, right? Seven days on the market. They're at 45. They're now at 39. They really want to unload this sucker. And it's not like in horrid condition, right? Like for burr deals, I've seen much worse, right? Like we got updated electrical, okay? The hot water tank. Eh, it may be usable. It's probably got a few years left in its life cycle. They last about uh, 15 years, cost about a G. Furnace, looks like it's still chugging along, right? It's really just a lot of cosmetics, right? Like, you pretty much got to redo the entire inside of the home, right? Like everything. You got to repaint all the walls, rip out all this crummy carpet, preferably put down some vinyl allure flooring because that's way better for low-income tenants. Uh, the roof looks to be in pretty good shape as well, right? But the vinyl allure flooring, folks, definitely the better move uh, for hardening your rentals, right? Because you do carpet, okay? You do carpet every, like, tenant turnover or, like, every two or three tenant turnovers, dude, you're replacing it, right? If there's hardwoods under there, uh, you refinish them. You put a bunch of, like, clear coat on them so when, like, dogs or kids, uh, like, pee on the floor or, like, adults pee on the floor, it happens, right? Uh, so my poop's on the floor. <laughs> like, if Joe Biden's at your house, God damn, I did it again! Uh, you know, if stuff like that happens, right? It just kind of 
like, you know, beads off, right? It doesn't absorb into the wood, right? So you don't ever have to mess with it again, right? Same deal with the vinyl allure flooring. It's something like you don't need to replace every couple tenants, right? So I highly recommend that, okay? So to get this bad boy looking good, ready to bring in market rent to a Section 8 tenant, right? Because we can go cash, we can go Section 8. But Lorraine, it's like a C-ish type area, okay? Uh, low income. I think you do a lot better with low income tenants on Section 8 than low t income tenants on, uh, you know, regular payments, cash, whatever, right? Because when you're dealing with low income people, like, folks, I mean, it's just part of the game, right? Any one little thing that happens in their life, you know, they can't pay rent. These are not people that have, like, savings accounts and plan ahead. I mean, that's just the nature of the beast. Somebody's out there like, duh! That's really offensive to low-income people. Yeah, that's great. Fuck you. Why don't you house them for free, motherfucker? I'm trying to help people make money. And when you're dealing with low-income tenants, folks, more often than not, they don't plan ahead. It's just fact. No judgment. I'm just giving you the cold, hard, honest truth as somebody who has sold over $200 million worth of these types of investments, ran thousands of properties like this. That's just the way the cookie crumbles, right? So that's like a risk, right? That's a risk you take on when you're a landlord of really, really cheap houses like this, right? So to alleviate said risk, you go Section 8, right? Because the government, right? The government is paying the rent. It's guaranteed. If your tenant gets sick, doesn't go to work for two weeks, you still get the rent. If your tenant spends all their disposable income on fucking 40 ounces, you still get the rent. If your tenant's car breaks down, they missed work that day, then they get fired, you still get your rent. You see what I'm saying? If the boyfriend and the girlfriend break up and one of them drains the bank account, you still get your rent, right? Because it's guaranteed by the government, right? So you got to go, Section 8. So to get this ugly little duckling cosmetically ready to go, passing Section 8 inspections, we're going to do probably gray walls, white trim, the vinyl or the hardwood flooring I talked about, upgrade the kitchen and the bath, Home Depot Lowe's quality fixtures, right? It's going to run us about 30 grand. As such, the price I want to see you pick this up at, we're going to come in fairly aggressive, cash, make it simple for them, 35 grand. 35 grand purchase price, $30,000 rental. We're all in at 65K. At that point, we're going to get us a nice Section 8 guaranteed rental income of 1050 a month, okay? Then you run your normal fixed and variable expense estimates because there's costs to operating a rental property such as this. After all that dust settles, I anticipate you making approximately $7,100 a year. This, this here, though, this is where it gets fucking juicy, man. This is the best part of the show, folks. 65 k all in. Beautiful reno. I think conservatively we could probably get it to appraise at about 80, meaning the bank will give us back 60. The bank's going to give us back 60. We only spent 65, meaning we only get five grand tied into the deal with the new mortgage. You're now, after paying off said mortgage, bringing home four G's a year instead of seven. The other three goes to your mortgage, which guess what? That's equity right back in your pocket because it's paying down your principal. That is a projected cash on cash return of 81.4%. That's why the Burr strategy works. That's why the Burr strategy is so popular. And I love this little sleepy town, Lorraine, man. Not a lot of people know about Lorraine, right? It's right outside of Cleveland, like 30 minutes or so. And the prices remain lower than like in Cleveland. Lorraine is very comparable to Cleveland as far as quality of their tenant base, okay? Very comparable. But not a lot of people on a nationwide scale know about Lorraine. It's just not talked about right you got the cleveland cavaliers the cleveland browns the cleveland indians if you're woke the cleveland guardians right you got all that that's what everyone thinks of but cleveland is just one city in the greater cleveland area right people talk about the population of cleveland and i i see people like on a national scale like ah cleveland used to have a million people now it's only got three hundred thousand. okay sure true statement but the greater Cleveland area does not have a population trend like that. that. It's like one little thing. The greater Cleveland area is like three or four million people, right? The whole metro area is what we focus on, not just like one city, right? To us, Cleveland is it's just one fucking city of like 30. You know what I'm saying? So this one, 
I think the, the returns are better. I think it's easier to deal with the government over there. I believe this is a solid deal. Nice sleepy little town. I talk about Lorraine quite often uh, in this show, but if you're brand new to the show, you probably never heard of Lorraine, but solid deal, solid return. Let me know what you wanted. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.